Jefferson. E. Jefferson has long been recognized as an inventive, imaginative creator of bebop lyrics. He took famous and difficult recorded jazz solos and put his own lyrics to them. He even inspired and influenced other greats such as Lambert Hendricks and Ross, Leon Thomas, and many others. Though no one disputes his well-deserved reputation, many jazz fans don't know that Eddie Jefferson was not always a singer. He talked about how his singing came about backstage at the Jazz Showcase with producer Joe Siegel. About 1928, uh, I learned the time step, and then you couldn't stop me. I started hoofing. And, uh, oh, you were a dancer. Oh, yes. Uh. My brother and I, we would start dancing together and a few other Pittsburghers, and I must have did that until the 50s. So, so from 28, 38, 48, 58, 30 years, 35 years of tap dancing throughout the country with famous stars of that day, you know, Lanny Ross and whoever was uh, stars of that day, the I fellows, see. you know, Bob Crosby and the Bobcats, Beautiful. working theaters right here at the Oriental Theater. But I've always heard musicians. I always hung around with musicians uh-huh. because uh, they had something melodic going, especially saxophone players. They just happened that I'd start singing their solos somewhere around 37. Basically in the swing style then. Right. right. Yeah. Taxi Ward Dance, Panancy Stomp, you know, Herschel Evans, Lester Young, Chew Berry, Ghost of a Chance, which was almost the same year as Body and Soul, Coleman Hawkins. And uh, I was writing lyrics for my own enjoyment in those days. I never thought it was any commercial value going. I wasn't interested because I was making a living dancing. You know, Lester Young and Herschel in those days never played over That's like 16 right. bars. Yeah. So you only had short solos. You know? mm-hmm. I'd sing the head and then sing their solo, which was very easy. Until Bird came along and he made it hard. He stretched it out. Oh, yeah, he made it <laughs> difficult. I'm going to write lyrics from him. You know? First, you know, I played the record and would sing along with it for six months. Thoughts about what lyrics that would fit in right. when it would come along. And in some cases, like Bird, I would run into Bird and say, Hey, do you remember what you were thinking when you was playing Lady Be Good? That was a heck of a solo. And he may say, Oh, man, I was having domestic problems problems so and so so I, I write lyrics on that story uh-huh. like lady be good you know yeah. it's just a love story right, right, right. and uh, i write the same way with uh, parker's mood he was going through some things then you know what i mean i said yeah and i went to hear a change i changed it i thought that i heard i went to consult him and he played it on a piano for me and got me straight 